Hey guys, how are you today? So I have not done a, a DIY with you guys in a while. So I am back. So I just want to show you guys how to make these little cute vintage jars. Look at how adorable they are. These little French style little vintage jars. So I'm going to show you guys. I did it two ways. So this is my first option, which actually I painted the jar white. <coughs> and then I added the black uh, paint onto it. My second option that I did is, look at how gorgeous these are. I painted a layer of black and then I painted a layer of white and then I actually distressed it. So, <coughs> oh my God. Um, so that went, oh well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do these. Now I'm gonna show you the easier way, which I think was much better. So let's do this. So. Pretty much what you need is a jar. These are like my spaghetti jars. I usually keep them because I always use them for projects. So I wash this one, I remove the goo. Um, sometimes if you have some leftover goo, what you could actually do is use peanut butter and let it sit and then clean it up. Uh, let it sit for like an hour or two. I usually let it sit there the whole night and then wash it off and then the gooey stuff comes out or you could use the gooey um, thing to remove it. So this is a clean jar. This is like usually what it ends up looking when I get it out of the dishwasher and then I actually add the peanut butter to it and let it sit overnight, wash it up and it's here, gone. So I have this jar that I've already done. So let's do this. Let me show you guys how easy it is to make these vintage um, French style jars. So the paint that I'm going to go ahead and use is called uh, the Linen White. It's a chalk ultimate made uh, paint. So let's go ahead and do this. So I am going to go ahead and just grab a little bit of white paint. And I just got this uh, today, so I'm excited. And usually with the flat... Um, paint the chalk paint it dries pretty fast so these are really easy to make and fun not only stop nice cute little style add to your home and I'm just gonna paint it and then keep going and it's gonna dry off pretty fast I usually add two layers of paint on here because usually two is good enough for me um, but you could add as many layers as you want. So that's just kind of one layer if you guys can see that. So that looks pretty good. Um, two layers. I usually do two layers. And Martha Stewart brush that I got. Um, but sometimes the little flakes, it came in six. Uh, so sometimes I end up with some, some, brush little thingies on here so easy it's almost all dried up but look at how cute these turn out how adorable is that now I'm just gonna blow dry it real quick so we can move the process really fast I take that long to get these done it's like that side is already dried up now one of the also the other things that you guys will need One layer is done, so now I'm just going to go ahead and paint another layer, and I think it is done. Then I am going to go ahead and show you guys the next part that I do. Um, I put a label on it. Now, there's different options you can put a layer on. I usually do a layer. Um, I you, One, you can use vinyl which is good, but it's going to take a little longer to get the project done if you're just, because <laughs> you have to, you know, um, one, purchase it, purchase the vinyl and purchase the, hopefully you have a Cricut or a Silhouette to actually create it. But if you do, awesome, that would be even better. If you don't, you probably would need one if you're going to use vinyl. Now, one of the things that I did is I actually printed off a label, a French style label, and I was gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what I printed off while this dries off real quick. It dries, so once that first layer's on there, it starts drying off so fast. So here's a couple of actually lab labels that I got. Look at this, I printed it out. I've already done two, the ones that you guys saw. Look at how cute these are. These are like little French um, vintage, 
baking labels kind of style going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut one out. And one of the things you also are gonna need is the pot Mod Podge glue, cause we're gonna use that. So easy, and you'll need black paint as well. So while that's drying up, I am going to cut it out and around. My scissors do not work very well, so guys, hang in there with me. And I'm just gonna cut it all around. Now, you could also use a transfer, a vinyl. Um, I've seen some people actually use white tape, putting this and then putting it in water and then wipe cleaning off the paper to make the tag or the silhouette on there like a sticker type. You could try that as well. I have not done the sticker and the, the tape over a piece of paper and then stick it in the water and then uh, clean up the paper. But probably I might try it and let you guys know how that works. And we might just go live and do it and see what you guys think. Because if I haven't done it, maybe you guys are curious. So we might just test out that theory. Okay, so I cut it out. One, you could really do a really good job of cutting it out. It's your choice or however you wish to do it. And I'm going to do a blow dry here. Blow dry this thing real quick. done I am going to close my paint put my brush in the water you could use a toothbrush you can use your fingers whatever you want to add the black to it so this is what I'm using I'm actually using this chalkboard uh, Martha Stewart you could use black that's all I have this is what I had in hand this is what I'm sticking with and then I'm just gonna put it it's all dried up check it out well a little the bottom's not dried up but it'll dry up I then I'll paint the bottom. It's not painted yet, so I will paint that here. So, so I wanna show you guys, cause I don't know how long. So this is the label I'm gonna use and I am going to just put it on here and I'm gonna use the posh glue. And I just brushed my, <laughs> I just washed my, um, excuse me, my brush for it. So guess what? I'm gonna use my finger for it. So if you don't have no brushes, guess what? I'm not afraid to get dirty that's for sure <laughs> on here and I'm just gonna add glue over it nicely all over and then I am just going to apply it like a sticker on here Clean my finger. and then which I don't know why I'm cleaning my finger because I'm gonna use it I'm gonna lay it flat right over here and then I'm just going to apply this label guys these are so stinking cute let me show you how cute is this now I'm gonna put some, how cute is that? How adorable is this? How stinking cute is that? Oh my God, I love it. So then, just to make sure that the paper stays, I'm just gonna grab some more glue, or what is it, um, Mod Posh glue, and just put it over it slowly with my finger again. And just get it through, that way it sticks in there nicely. Like I said, you guys can use a vinyl, um, if you guys want to spend more time on it, it depends on how, you know, much time. This is like a quick little 10 minute craft you could do at home with your old spaghetti jars, any jars. You could also do it with the metal can jars, which I was planning on actually doing it with that. And voila, now we're going to add some black to give it that vintage color. Voila, how cool is that? Check it out. How cute is this? How cute, like seriously, so stinking adorable. I'm gonna close my Mod Podge. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick little blow dry because I don't wanna get it. The reason why is because I'm gonna add some black paint to it, so. Okay, so check it out. It's almost all dried up all, already. I'm gonna grab some black check. I'm just gonna put it right over here in this little surface of cardboard because I have so many cardboards. And I am just gonna throw one. You could use a toothbrush to do this. You could use your fingers, whatever your wish. Um, have, or you could use the same brush, however you want to do it. Now this jar here, I actually used uh, my fingers to put the uh, black on it. 
on this one I actually put black underneath it then I, I painted the jar black and then I painted it white and then I um, distressed it so easy way I think I find it easier just to apply the black where I want it because that was a little more pain in the butt for me and it takes a little longer because you have to wait until the black dries and so forth but you could do that if you like and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of black in my finger and I am just gonna go right on those edges little spots check it out this is what I'm doing I can hear my kids are outside playing and I am just gonna run some black to it and act and make it look like distressed I think I went a little overboard there but that's okay so check it out and then I am going to go downwards on it now this I probably would prefer if I had I have a little string. Let's try it with a string, the edge of the string, and see what it does. Ha. We're experimenting because that's what I love to do. Okay, here we go. So I got that, doing a little bit of string, and then I am just gonna go ahead and go. Do you see that little line? It actually does a really good job. And I am just going to add some distress randomly, little spots in here on my jar go downwards some more just create a little bit of black to it it's actually not that bad i've actually enjoying this little guy and i just <laughs> took a little screen so definitely this is a new way to do things a different way to add some distress there I'll probably add some more right over here check it out and you could also use a toothbrush so check what I am doing let me show you guys and if you don't like where you added you could actually grab a little bit of white paint and add it over it I love to add them through the label because then it's like um, gives it a little bit of that older style look let's see and I think that's pretty much the darker it is the easier it, it looks like and here I'll show you guys if you guys add too much to it there we go see that really cute if you guys add too much to it you could grab your white paint don't be afraid to make a little mess because jars are messy so I'm gonna dry it up makes it so much easier so I would added too much in this little part so I'm just gonna do the same thing that I'm doing with my I'm actually gonna do the opposite with the white and just run it through so it kind of Voila, how about that? Let me show you guys my lighting. So I took some of that off and I just used a string. How easy is this? Pretty much I am done here. One, you could add a little bow to it. I used a little string. I'm gonna grab some string, some, cut it off, cut it, cut it, cut it. I cut it off, I'm not sure if that sounds, is that correct? Just create a little bow on it. And you've got a cute little French style jar vintage look at how cute that is how adorable oh let's add some little greenery how cute is that that's too small let's go this let's go bigger how cute is that how easy this did not take me long so anyways guys hope you guys have a great day don't forget to follow me on YouTube Instagram Pinterest as well you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe my channel as well. Thank you.